How to Extract Data for Meta-Analysis? If you're working on a meta-analysis and wondering how to extract the data you need, you're in the right place. Let's break it down step by step. First, you need to identify the studies that are relevant to your research question. This is usually done through a systematic review where you search various databases and filter out studies based, based on your inclusion and exclusion criteria. Once you have your list of studies, the next step is to create a data extraction form. This form will help you gather all the necessary details from each study. Typically, you'll include fields such as the reference details, author year, citation, setting or location, sample size, population or patient focus, intervention or comparison intervention, outcome measures, study design, and duration of the study. Now, let's talk about the actual process of extracting data. You need to locate the outcomes of interest in each study. This involves identifying the design characteristics, such as the intervention or exposure, and the comparison groups. You also need to define the outcomes of interest and how they are measured. Finally, you extract the actual results, which are the measures of the outcome variables. Extracting different types of outcomes. When extracting data, you'll encounter different types of outcomes. For diagnostic accuracy studies, you might need to deal with two and two tables, sensitivity, specificity, and prevalence. If these are not reported, you have to figure out how to calculate them from the available data. For example, if the sensitivity or specificity is not reported, you might need to use other statistics or assumptions to estimate these values. For dichotomous outcomes, you may encounter studies that report measures of risk on different scales. You need to standardize these measures, such as converting odds ratios to risk ratios or hazard ratios. If a study reports a beta coefficient instead of a hazard ratio, you'll need to calculate the standard error of the beta coefficient to convert it into a hazard ratio. Continuous outcomes can be tricky if the mean, standard deviation, or sample size is missing. You might need to use complementary equations to obtain the necessary statistics. For instance, if you only have the median and interquartile range, you can use certain formulas to estimate the mean and standard deviation. Efficiency and accuracy. To make data extraction more efficient, it's helpful to use tools like spreadsheets or specialized software. These tools can help you organize the data better and reduce the risk of errors and bias. For example, you can use a sample coding form to ensure consistency across all studies. Logarithms and log transformations might also come into play, especially when dealing with skewed data. Knowing how to handle these transformations can help you extract data accurately and efficiently. Critical appraisal. After extracting the data, it's crucial to critically appraise each study to assess the risk of bias and the quality of the evidence. This involves using critical appraisal tools that are specific to the study design or research methodology. Tools like the Cochrane Handbook for Systematic Reviews of Interventions can be very helpful in this process. By following these steps and using the right tools, you can ensure that your data extraction for meta-analysis is thorough, accurate, and efficient. This will help you synthesize the data effectively and draw meaningful conclusions from your meta-analysis.